was the son of a pizza man, the only boy who could have Hey guys, welcome to Son of the Pizza Man. My name is Enzo, and today we are making a gluten-free pizza. So I have definitely made gluten-free pizzas on this channel in the past. I think I made one or two, but this one in particular, I was kind of drawn to because it only has five ingredients. So um, it's also by the people that make the baking steel that I use. Uh, I will link them in the description below. And yeah, so let's just get to it. So like I said, there are only five ingredients. And the first ingredient is rice flour, second, potato starch, third, buckwheat flour, and then salt and water. So it's literally a mix and bake kind of recipe, which is awesome. I love those easy recipes and I'm hoping <laughs> that it tastes good. Uh, so let's, uh, let's get mixing. So the recipe is in grams, so I'm using my uh, scale to weigh the stuff out, but I'm sure you could find a way to convert them to cups or tablespoons or teaspoons or whatever you need to do. All right, not a good idea to mix this up with a whisk. <laughs> so uh, it's looking it's looking very cementy right now, which is honestly is not super appetizing, but we'll see. So um, I think this is the consistency it should be. I'm not sure. It's kind of sandy looking, kind of wet. Which I'm not sure if that's actually, I feel like it should be drier. And I'm going to form a um, 12 inch circle. I'm going to use my handy dandy rolling pin to make sure that everything is even. I typically don't like using rolling pins with pizza, but this is not a typical pizza, obviously. And it's sticking. Perfect. That's 12 inches or not. Oh. All right, we have some stickage. Maybe this wasn't a great idea. So my pizza is not circular. It's around 12 inches. It should be fine. So what I'm gonna do is put this guy into the oven. I have it preheated. It's been preheating for about an hour on 500. I have the pizza steel in there. And I'm gonna stick this on the pizza steel for about six minutes or so, and then take it out, top it, and then put it back in the oven for a few more minutes. So here we go. So it's been about seven minutes and the crust is par-baked. Looks like this. Um, this so I, I know that the smell is like, it's, it's an intense smell that I'm not really crazy about, but we'll, we'll see. Um, it's pretty dry. So yeah, you have to par bake it to make sure that it actually cooks through and that the toppings don't burn, basically. I'm gonna top this with just some pizza sauce and some mozzarella cheese. Just wanna keep it simple and basic. So that's what I'm gonna do. So here's the top pizza. I'm gonna stick it in the oven for another three to five minutes. And hopefully when it comes out, it'll be a delicious, delicious gluten-free pizza. So this is the final result uh, after 12 minutes of bake time. There's a weird, there's like a weird smell to it. And I can't, it's like, I don't, I, I'm trying to think of the, the smell. It's like, um, I don't know. I don't know if I like it. All right, so here it is. It doesn't look like, it still looks like it's like raw or something. And maybe I didn't roll it out enough. I feel like I didn't roll it out enough because it's, it's, it's pretty thick and it looks really undone. So 
I have a feeling this is not gonna taste good, but we're gonna try it anyway, so here we go. It doesn't, I don't, I'm trying to, all I'm tasting is the sauce and cheese, and I don't know, let's try the crust. The crust by itself isn't bad. Um, I've definitely had worse. But yeah, it's actually, it's, it's very salty, which I don't know if that was, I don't know, I'm assuming that's intentional. And um, yeah, so I think, yeah, I feel like it needed to be bigger. Uh, but overall, it's not, it's not bad. It's not a bad pizza. I think if I had rolled it out thinner, because right now it's, it's kind of gummy, and I'm, I'm eating raw dough, basically, or raw mixture, whatever you want to call it. So uh, luckily the sauce and cheese kind of flavor that or cover that up a little bit. So I'm definitely going to eat this. So final thoughts, I think this is a decent gluten-free pizza. Uh, like I said, I think if I roll the dough out thinner, I think I'd get a crispier crust and I wouldn't get this like gummy layer. But yeah, overall, try it out. Uh, the baking steel pe uh, people, good job on your recipe. And uh, yeah, I recommend it, so thumbs up. Thank you guys as always for watching. And if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe below hit that like button, and until next time, ciao for now. The only one who could ever need me was the son of a pizza man. The only boy who could ever